So if you're a Celestron Rasa or Hyperstar fan, there's one thing I believe most of us can generally agree on, and that is that our star quality can be very horrible sometimes. We can have elongated stars in the corners. We can have starburst stars. We can have different kind of diffraction spikes. No matter what we do, there's always something. But with all this great new software out there, I want to see what we can do about that. My name is Chad. This is the Easy Astro Images channel, and we are going to catch some photons today. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Super glad to be back here and to have everybody back. More coming up about my long delay, but there has been a lot of things going on as far as astro pictures and RC stuff and life in general. But we are actually back at it right now, and I want to to actually test out what we can do with our hyperstar images with the new star reduction methods that we have seen floating around by some of the, the latest uh, YouTuber uh, type of guys. Uh, this is a free method. Uh, it's all pixel math and everything else. I've been using it on my general images and things are just amazing. So let's take a look at a hyperstar image right now and let's just see what it can do because everybody gives us these great examples of great star reduction, but let's see what it can do with comas and everything else that's going on in the screen. Let's do it. All right, so we are on the desktop here and we're gonna be using a couple pieces of software. Obviously, we are doing it, this in PixInsight and I am gonna put a link to uh, Bill's YouTube channel as well as the Visible Dark channel below and there's uh, links to the downloads on how to get these tools up here. So there's three different star reduction methods that he's gone into. I usually use the first and the second one. The second one seems to preserve color a little bit better um, you can go into pixel math on these if you click on them and you can actually adjust how aggressive they want to be he goes into all that stuff i just like to drag and drop because we like to do everything easy here that's the whole point of this channel anyway what you got to do first is got to have an image that you've done like some dbe on some cropping and all that kind of stuff this one here is color balanced and you know you can see there's noise in there and all that kind of stuff and if we take a look you can obviously see the big blown out hyperstar type of uh, stars and then you know when we go up into the corner here we've got some coma going on we've got uh, even worse stuff going on down here in the bottom and uh, yeah, just uh, super, super duper messy. So the first thing what we need to do is we're gonna clone this image and then make a starless out of it. So all you gotta do is just drag and drop this once you actually get this downloaded. And there we go. We can go ahead and we can stretch that out with the screen transfer function. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run anything that you want to. You can run Starnet, Starnet, Two star exterminator is what I'm actually going to use. And this is a linear image that we're going to be doing this on. And we're basically going to create a starless image. And then what this actual program is going to do is it's going to take the starless image and the regular image, and it's going to basically blend the two together and kind of like affect the way that the pixels actually are displayed. It's very, very ingenious and it's the best Best method I've ever uh, used. I'm actually pretty blown away by how well it works. So we're going to go ahead and we will run the um, star exterminator on this image right here. So let's get that done. All right, we have just got done with the star exterminator process. And you can see what we've got going on here. We have a starless image and then we have our other image. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this. And uh, really, it's super simple. All you got to do is just take one of these methods. We'll just take method one and drag and drop. And boom, you're going to see how small the stars actually got. Now, let's go back here and let's do the whole point. You see how bright the hyperstar is. And we're going to go in big time. Like, look at that hyperstar big flary star right there, all the false color edges, everything else like that. Let's go ahead and boom, there we go. 
We just immediately made everything smaller and less noticeable. If we wanted to, we could even drag and drop another instance of that and take that down even more. So that's what you're kind of left with there. Not that many stars in that image. Maybe that's to your taste, maybe not. We can back it up once, we can back it up twice. Now let's go look at those big old freaking coma areas that we had, which were pretty nasty. So we, of course we're going all the way up into the corner here. You can see that we've got those kind of star shapes going on. And uh, if we go forward once, there was one application. And if we go forward twice, there's another application. If we wanna try the second method, we can actually just drag and drop that and see what that actually does for us. Not that bad. I actually think the first method it did a little bit better. Now in this third method, I don't believe you can actually drag and drop it, or maybe you can, but I believe it's like super duper aggressive. So you can see what happened there, which that actually, man, yeah, that is pretty aggressive. You can see that all of the the stars are totally crazy now. Probably not what we're gonna want, but you know, if you are sick and tired of your stars being super duper crazy, I mean, you know, there you go. There's your, there's your option right there. Uh, for me, I would probably would just go ahead and just do one small reduction there on number one. And generally most of my stars are going to be in pretty decent shape now, except for the extreme corners on the hyperstar. So uh, no need to worry about fussing over the collimation like crazy and just overall makes the hyperstar rasa experience that much better again unless you're one of those people that are super lucky to have that perfect f2 scope i envy you hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial i think that is a perfect example of how awesome this pixel mass software is for pix insight let me know what you think in the comments below we'll talk to you guys later peace